third branch of the renovation. Posterior to all the structures. So this is the hilum of the kidney. Now this is the renal vein. This is the renal vein, which is most anterior. Now posterior to the renal vein. Here is the renal artery. Then you have the pelvis. Pelvis of the ureter. In the hilum. Pelvis of the Yes. Now continuation of the pelvis becomes the ureter. The ureter, we said that physiologically, it has three physiological constrictions. First of all, when it joins the pelvis, second, when it crosses the pelvic brim at the sacroiliac joint, crossing the bifurcation of the iliac arteries, third, when it enters into the urinary canal. Now, our main point is just only the upper part of the ureter before it passes to the pelvis. So, the pelvis, we also speak about the urinary bladder and the pelvic part of the ureter. Now we see that the suprarenal gland, then we have the kidney. Now the general or the internal structure of the kidney. Now, this is the suprarenal gland and then this is the renal vein, renal artery. Most posteriorly you have the ureter. Now you can see the internal structure of the kidney, first of all the outer part, which is the cortex. Second, the next part is the medulla. Then you have the calyces. Now these these projections are called the papillae. Papillae. They are in the shape of pyramid and the apex is the renal papilla. Now in between the papillae and between these pyramids we have the columns. Yes. Now these columns are connection or connected to the cortex. They are related to the cortex. Now, the ureter, when it is joined to the pelvis, it will divide into calyces. We have major calyces and then we have minor calyces. Now, the major calyces are three to four in number. They also divide into minor calyces and the minor calyces are related to the collective nucleus of the Yes, of the nephron. So the main functional unit of the kidney is the nephron and the renal corpuscles. Its a function, as they told us, about the excretion of urine and also reabsorption of main ions and at the same time production of some hormones, which is called the angiotensin. Two. Angiotensin 2. Uh, angiotensin 2 usually it has a vasoconstrictor effect, and most of the time it is related to cases of hypertension when it's related, the hypertension is related to the kidney. Now, the suprarenal gland, is, its action is also the production of main hormones, so it is an endocrine gland, like the production of amnopinephrine and catecholamines and tocotipoids. They are all yes, related to the suprarenal gland. Now coming to the main blood supply of the kidney. We said that we have the renal artery which arises from the internal aorta. Yes. Now this is the abdominal aorta. This is the abdominal aorta and this is the inferior vena cava. Now this is the renal artery which arises from the